Do you want to get in the flow state every single day? Well, I'm going to show you how you can do it. Hey, what's up? Greg here, the founder of your inception. Welcome to my channel. Subscribe below to start your journey to limitless performance. Today, we're going to talk about the flow state. And in this video, I'm going to share with you top five strategies that will help you get in the flow state every single day. But what exactly is a flow state? Well, in positive psychology, it's also called being in the zone. And it actually means that you're fully immersed in an activity, you have tons of energy, you're super focused, and you're hyper productive. And once you're in the zone, you can do tons of different stuff, uh, you finish lots of tasks, even the most challenging tasks, and time just passes by. When you're in the zone, it's really fun working on different stuff, and it's you can really do tons of different stuff. But the most challenging thing is how you can actually get in this zone. And that's what I wanna share with you today. So first thing first, if you really wanna get in this zone, you need to work on a challenging task. If you're just doing something really simple, it's gonna be really hard to get in the zone simply because uh, you won't be as engaged as you should be. So first thing first, you have to find a really challenging task. And the best tip I can give you here is once you wake up, once you get the energy, once you're refreshed, you do whatever you do as part of your morning routine, then you should actually start working on this most important or most challenging task of the day because it's gonna be super simple or much easier at least to get in the flow or in the zone um, in the first part of the day when you have tons of energy. Uh, it's really easy to get focused then. So if you're not really sure if the task is challenging enough, you should simply ask yourself, do you know the exact answer or the exact step-by-step -step process of how you're gonna finish this task? If the answer is yes, then probably the task is not challenging enough. The second thing you need to know is you need enough energy. Now, obviously, how to get more energy is a very complex topic, which we're gonna discuss in the next videos, but today I wanna give you a couple of suggestions that can definitely help you out. So first thing first, you need a good enough sleep. If you sleep somewhere between seven to nine hours, this is probably enough, but if you're gonna sleep less, uh, if you're gonna sleep at five, six hours or whatever, uh, then it's gonna be super hard to get in the flow simply because you won't have enough energy. Now, yes, in the morning you still might have enough energy, but it's not the same. So really try to get enough sleep. Now, the second thing you can do as part of your morning routine is you can take a cold shower. Now, this is a simple trick. You've probably heard about it before, but it's really important you do this in the morning before you try to get in the zone or in the flow, um, simply because this cold shower will give you this energy boost, this needed energy boost, it will help you get focused and consequently, it will help you get in the flow. And third thing you can do is you can grab a Bulletproof coffee, which is one of my favorite energy boosters. You can check the video about it up here. And if you don't like drinking coffee, you can just go for Jerba Mate tea uh, or some other alternative. Um, so really strong tea, really strong coffee, something that's gonna give you this energy push. Now you don't need to drink caffeine to get in the flow, but if you don't have enough energy, well, this can help you out. The third thing you should know about is you should avoid all distractions. Now, obviously this is a very important thing and, and you, you know about it. Avoiding distractions is one of the crucial things you should do uh, to be in the focus for a long period, so for weeks and months and so on. And you can check our strategies about that up here if you're interested in staying focused for long periods, months and years and so on. Now, the easiest way to avoid all distractions is to just turn off your smartphone um, or you know just close your computer, don't read emails, don't pick up the phones, don't check social media. Um, try to be not available for, for the period you wanna be super focused because once you get in the flow, and this is very important, once you get in the flow state, um, you don't wanna fall out. And it's super simple to fall out of it. Just one call, uh, someone interrupting you, it's enough. It's simple enough and then it's gonna be super challenging to get in the flow once again. So try to limit or avoid all distractions uh, during the period you wanna be in the flow. Then you need to limit your time. Um, now there are different techniques how you can do it. Uh, you can follow the Pomodoro technique, which means you work for 20 minutes, you take five minutes off and you repeat this process uh, for as long as possible, or you do even longer periods of work, like 90 minute work and then you take 15 to 25 minutes off. It really depends on you, how you like to work, what works for you. Now for me personally, I like to work for a bit longer periods for like 90 minutes, then I take 
15 minutes off and I repeat this two to three times um, and I can do tons of stuff uh, in this period of really hyper focused work. There are different apps available for a smartphone or also on a computer or you can just use a basic time tracker or even your smartwatch or whatever just to get limited. Now this time pressure that you put on yourself is very important to kind of push yourself subconsciously to really focus and work hard. And there have been a lot of studies done on that and they show that the shorter the time available to complete a different task, um, the faster you will finish it. So that's why this is a very, very important thing and many people actually forget about this strategy. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. Last but not least, you need to get a feedback on your activity or on your finished tasks. Now, um, this is something that many people forget and I actually didn't know about it until recently when I learned about it. So once you finish this task, once you get out of this hyper-focused flow, uh, out of this zone, um, usually what people do is they, you know, they do something else, they go for lunch or whatever, um, but it's very, very important to get feedback from someone else um, on the quality of the work you did in this period. Because this feedback will help you consciously and subconsciously um, kind of understand how well you worked and also trigger certain patterns uh, that will help you get better results the next time. So if you're gonna be in this flow state for a couple of hours, you will do certain uh, tasks, you'll finish certain tasks, you'll get certain results at the end. And someone will, will tell you, well, that was, that was done really good. Well, this will help you understand um, the whole process better and if what you're doing actually works for you. If the results will be uh, really bad, then what you can do is you can optimize this uh, process for you know the next time you want to get into this flow state. Um, and that's very, very important. And those are my five top strategies that help me get into the hyper-focused flow every single time. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook, Instagram, and I hope to see you soon again. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you soon.